Hi there, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Shay. I'm a 25-year-old electrical engineer currently practicing in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And today I wanted to make a video on um, travel. So I actually visited Europe for my first time ever in October, so October 2019, and I visited um, Italy. Um, I went with my roommate and we started, you know, kind of north and then made our way down south. So we started in um, Venice and then we kind of hit up, I think, most of like the main tourist attractions and then ended in like Naples and Positano. Um, and yeah, so this video, I wanted to talk about my highlights from the trip. Um, there are definitely four that stand out to me, so I'll just get right into that. So my first highlight from the trip would definitely have to be the like gondola boating in Venice. Um, I thought gondolas were supposed to be, you know, these machines that like bring you up mountain, like snowy mountains. Um, at like ski resorts, but not in Venice. In Venice, they're actually these like canoe, um, uh, kayak type boat things. They're they're pretty wide actually. You can fit like probably eight to ten people in them, and um, usually there will be like a person at the front. They're wearing stripes, and um, they'll like paddle you around this like um, ravine. And like a lot of people do it. It's quite a tourist attraction, I must admit. Um, and it was just like super cool to see Venice from that uh, perspective. It really gave like for me I just grew like an appreciation for like all of the buildings and like infrastructure and just how that they're like built into the water as well. Like that was really cool. Um, my next highlight from the trip, which I'm laughing about because I like kind of forced my roommate to do it. Like she wanted to do it, but um, it was hiking the five villages in Cinque Terre. Um, so, you know, we did our research before, so we knew it was going to be a long hike, but we did, you know, stop a lot along the way to eat, like, gelato. We took, like, lots of photos and, like, videos and stuff, but I think we were hiking for probably, like, seven or eight hours. Like, we started when it was light out, and we ended when it was, like, dark out. Um, we ended up only doing four out of the five villages just because it, like, took us so long, um, but it was just honestly, like, amazing, like, beautiful scenery, like, you're hiking along, like, mountains you're kind of going up and down and you're right beside like the ocean and like you get to see like the vineyards and it's just I don't know like I loved it I love hiking so I was definitely all about that part of the trip um, my next highlight from the trip would have to be um, visiting the Chianti wine region in Florence um, you know I'm from Canada I'm actually from like the Okanagan originally if anybody knows where that is so we have wine tasting there so it was really cool to experience that from a European perspective. Um, and then my last most memorable part of the trip would definitely have to be um, visiting like Positano and the Amalfi Coast. It was just like so beautiful there. Um, like when I picture myself on vacation, I picture myself in somewhere like that. Like it, they have um, beaches, boating, shopping, um, lots and lots of restaurants. <clears throat> um, they even have hiking. They have this one trail. It's called um, the Path of Gods. I did about half of it. I was getting kind of sick towards the end of the trip, so I didn't want to like push myself too much. But again, it was very beautiful. Um, there were actually like little horses along the way, so I guess people ride horses there too. And um, yeah, if I were to go back to any part of Italy, like I would definitely go back to like the Amalfi Coast area. Like I could easily see myself spending just like one or two weeks there laying on the beach, going boating, you know, eating out every night and just like, you know, enjoying yourself. Um, yeah, so um, I did actually make like a little video montage of the trip, so um, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, keep on watching. <laughs>
hope you all agree with me that my cities are really beautiful, right? So, take a La uva madre se representa hasta el 95%. La última mezcla. Thank you.